Welcome to the Math Magician channel. In this video, you will learn about fractions. But we are doing question number 2 here. We have already solved question number 1 in the previous video and now we are solving question number 2. Under the heading of unit number 7, let's explore fractions and this is 7a, fraction equivalences. So let's take a start. This question number 2 from page number 80. Yes. So what they are giving you the command of it. What we have to do. First of all they are giving you. You have to do the shade. Each grid to show the equivalent fractions. After that you have to draw a circle around the largest fraction. Yes. Shade each grid. But. The word they are using there, equivalent fractions. Now look at, it satisfied the situation. I am coloring off one box from out of the four. But now look at over here, this not satisfied the situation. Because I am doing the color of two from the four. This happens according to this picture. But when they are using the term equivalent fractions, equivalent fractions, equivalent fractions, it means actually they are hiding this situation and they are going to simplify 2 upon 4. You know 2 upon 4 when I reduced it, it again becomes 1 upon 2. So they are using here 1 upon 2 rather than 2 upon 4. 2 upon 4 is the hidden fraction. That's why they are giving the clue that we are using the equivalent fractions here. So remember one thing in your mind. If they are giving you for the shading part under the heading of equivalent fractions, what you have to do? Reduce the number and try to understand the situation. How? Step number one will be count the boxes. How many boxes you have? Four boxes. Okay. How many colored of it? Two boxes. It means this number is going to multiply it by two. And we know if we are multiplying in the denominator, we have to apply the same rule in the numerator. So this is the situation. Now look at over here, it's 2 upon 4, it's 1 upon 4. Which one is the greatest one? After this, draw a circle around the largest fraction. If we have made the denominator same, so we can compare the fractions very easily. Just you have to look at the number that is on the numerator because denominator is same, both having the 4, both having the 4. Look at over here, both having the 4, both having the 4. So, which number is greater? Definitely 2. So, can I circle this? That's why they are circle this fraction. Now, you are thinking about okay, what happened. It's 2 upon 4. Why we are not writing? They have only in the hidden form. Okay? You have to do same as it is in your mind. Not here. Okay. Now, it has been done for you. Now, we are solving step by step. So, let's move on part A and try to solve it. It's 2 upon 3 and it's 5 upon 6. Okay. Now, look at over here. It's 3 boxes are there. No. How many boxes are there? 6 boxes. Okay. So, I have to make this 6 rather than 3. Okay. And if I am making this 6, by multiplying which number? I am multiplying by 2. Okay, so definitely I have to apply the same here. Yes, so 2 becomes 4. 2 twos are 4. So now the situation has been changed. It's 4 upon 6. So how many boxes I have to color here? From 6, how many boxes I have to color? 4. 1, 2, 3, or 4. You can choose any boxes. But just you have to click on the 4 boxes. And 2 colorless. Now the first part has been done. Shade each grid to show the equivalent fractions. 
Now look at the second part. Draw a circle around the largest fraction. So 5 upon 6 is greater or 4 upon 6 is greater. Which one is the greatest one? Definitely the denominator in both the cases are 6 and it's having the same number. Both fractions having the same number. So we can compare the numerator or the top number and this 5 is greater. So can I circle this? So I am showing the whole solution to you. Look at, we have done this part. We are not considering it's 2 upon 3. Rather than we have considering in our mind, it should be 4 upon 6. That's great. And then we are able to compare and the shaded part. So how we understand these are the six? Actually, we are counting the boxes. This will be step number two. So let's move on and solve it. Another example. Yes, they are giving the five boxes. No. How many boxes they are giving you? Ten. So you have to convert it 5 into 10 by multiplication of 2. And we have to apply the same strategy on the top number. So it will be 2 to the 4. Now what comes in your mind? Basically it's 4 upon 10. So I have to color 4 boxes. Look at I am doing the coloring in the 4 boxes. And I am leaving the 6 colorless. Now what about the 3 upon 10? They have given you 10 boxes? Yes. Okay, there is no need to change it out. And how many boxes I have to color? 3. Look at, I am coloring this 3 and leaving the 7 parts colorless. Okay, now the first grid shade part has been done. Now we are comparing which one is the greater. 3 upon 10, 2 upon 5. Basically, 2 upon 5 is your 4 upon 10. So, which one is greater? Look at here. Both having the 10 denominator. We are comparing the top number. 4 is greater. So, I can circle this 2 upon 5. Okay. Shall I move? So, we are solving the C situation. Now, again the rule will be same. They are not giving you the two boxes. How many boxes they have given to you? Count down. Yes, it's 10. Okay, now if you are changing this 2 into 10 by multiplication of which number? Definitely it's multiplied by 5. So you have to apply the same strategy here. This always will be your step number 1. Basically, it is 5 upon 10. How many shades you have to color? 5 boxes. You can choose any 5. Okay. Now, this part has been solved. Now, what about 3 upon 5? Look at it. It's 5 boxes. No. Now, they have changed in the C part. Yes, I have to change this also. So this having 10 boxes. Okay. And how I am converting this 5 by multiplying of 2. So I have to do on the both side. 3 becomes 6. How many boxes I have to color? 6 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look at over here. We have done this part. Now just the comparison part is left. Okay, so 5 upon 10 is greater or 6 upon 10 is greater? Yes, so 10 is the same in both the situations. So 6 upon 10 is greater. But they are not giving you in the question 6 upon 10. They are giving you in the question 3 upon 5. It's your mental math. You are doing in mind. But 3 upon 5 is the given situation. That's why we are circled this number. Okay, we are comparing these two and 1 upon 2 is not greater. 3 upon 5 is greater rather than these. Okay, so we are solving the D part. Now we are very unable to do this. How many parts are given to us? 12. Okay, how many parts given to us? 12. It means not 3, 
it's 12. It means which number I am taking here for the multiplication? By 4 on both sides. So it comes 4 upon 12. Now what about this situation? It's not 4. How many boxes are here? 12. It means they have given 12 in the denominator part. Okay, so how I am converting this 4 into 12? By multiplication, 3. So this will be on the top 3. Now the situation has been cleared about it. I have to color the 4 boxes. Look at over here. Now I have to color 3 boxes from here. Now the step number 3. Which one is the greatest one? Compare in your mind 4 upon 12 or 3 upon 12. Make the denominator same. Then you are able to easily compare these. Which one? Definitely this one. The left hand side. And that is 1 upon 3. Okay. The last part is. It's about E. That is given to you 5 upon 6 in one hand and 3 upon 4 is on the another hand. Both having the equality, they are giving you the equivalent fractions. That's why when you are solving it, it gives you the same. Look at over here, they are giving you the same boxes to you. Okay? 5 upon 6 when I am solving it, they are giving you 12 boxes. And when I am converting this 6 into 12, so I am multiplying by 2, I have to apply the same strategy here. 5 to the 10. It's basically what is given to you? 10 upon 12. And what about this situation? It's not 4, it's 12. Why? Because 12 boxes are given to me. When what about this 3? Definitely when I am multiplying here by 3, then 12 comes. So we have to apply the same strategy here. This becomes 9 upon 12. So which one is the greatest one? Uh oh, shaded part is left. Yes. So you have to select any 10 of the boxes and doing the color on it. And 2 will be left and in this we have to color the 9 boxes and 3 will remain uncolored. Okay. Look at just like this. Look at just like this. Okay. Now which one is the greatest one? This fraction 5 upon 6 or 3 upon 4? So what comes in your mind? Basically it is 10 upon 12. Make the denominator same. 9 upon 12. It is 9 upon 12. So which one is greater? 10 upon 12. That's why we are circling the 5 upon 6. Okay. So hope so you have understood the strategy. And question number 2 done. Today's task we have completed. Any question in your mind my math stars? If any question comes in your mind, you can write it in the comment section. Thank you. Subscribe Math Magician channel. Many tips and tricks for you. Happy learning.